have just alighted from uh, two days uh, of the Provincial Executive Committee meeting uh, that uh, is, was a normal uh, Provincial Executive Committee meeting that said to consider a number of things uh, since uh, the National General Council, uh, what has transpired uh, after that uh, uh, to date. Uh, so we had really a wide-ranging uh, political discussion. Firstly, we appreciated uh, the significance uh, of the occurrence uh, that took place a few days ago in uh, Paris. Uh, and indeed, uh, the PEC uh, was unanimous in its condemnation of uh, any acts of terror, uh, specifically uh, the maiming of innocent lives. Uh, and joined uh, the leadership of the ANC and government in uh, expressing uh, uh, solidarity with the people of uh, France uh, over this uh, tragedy and uh, proceeded to call on world leaders uh, to double the efforts uh, to make sure that we could achieve peace uh, uh, in the globe. The PEC also appreciated uh, the progress that the province has uh, made uh, in its uh, impact, uh, not only in its provincial general council, but also in the national general council. Specifically that uh, the national general council acknowledged the PEC or the province, the provincial delegation of the ANC in the province as having uh, displayed the highest uh, levels of dis discipline. We appreciated that and uh, appreciated the fact that it is the product of the work uh, that uh, the PEC has over a period of time been making here uh, to acquire levels of stability for the organization here. After the NGC, there has been uh, again considerable work uh, regional conferences uh, that uh, the PEC acknowledges that uh, relative to how PEC um, regional conferences were held in the past, these were highly very smooth uh, conferences uh, starting with uh, OR Tambo as you would know, OR Tambo would be a spectacle of uh, all forms of uh, uh, fights, etc. It was perhaps the smoothest conference ever held in that region. Uh, however, we have noted that there are, after that, uh, those who have expressed uh, some reservations uh, for which a process is underway to resolve those matters. We're pretty confident that uh, it will uh, still be uh, very smooth going forward in the region. Uh, similarly, we have held uh, uh, the a conference uh, in Joe Gabi, we've held the conference in Buffalo City uh, with challenges uh, of a kind, uh, but not to the magnitude we've had in the previous conferences, which uh, uh, shows a marked uh, improvement uh, from where things are. The PEC has taken really a dim view towards uh, some of the ill discipline that we've seen from people who purport to be members of the ANC to the extent that they are members of the ANC. The PEC has directed that measures be taken to really bring those members to book for bringing the organization into disrepute. That's the first thing. And then secondly, where there are constant allegations of matters that are not being responded to, the PEC has directed that such be done and all affected members be directed to their own branches where these matters should be disposed of. Because there is no member who is just an individual uh, running about. Each member is located in his or her branch. And it is in his or her branch where matters of concern should be exhausted. And the PC has directed that uh, the leadership, the incoming leadership of the region, of course, subject to if there are any concerns, complaints raised, those complaints must be attended to by the appropriate structures, but they must be seized with making sure that all members of the ANC go to their branches. 
and exhaust all matters they have in their branches. That, we hope, uh, shall take place in the not so distant future. Before a month has come to an end, we must have uh, uh, initiated uh, processes uh, exactly to secure that. We have appreciated, of course, the other conferences that we have held in this period, uh, um, Sarah Batman region, uh, Krizani region, all of which uh, have very stable uh, uh, regions uh, that are focused on the uh, urgent work preparations uh, for the forthcoming local government elections. Uh, we've spent a lot of time looking at uh, how we're going to ready our structures uh, for the forthcoming uh, local government elections. Uh, officially, the BGMs to nominate uh, uh, councillor candidates uh, have already been uh, 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 announced. Uh, we've just confirmed that, uh, that uh, what is now going to happen are those branch general meetings uh, for which, this might for, for which uh, consideration is going to be given to uh, uh, councillor candidates. Uh, we think that uh, it's uh, also going to test the resilience uh, 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 the fortitude of the members of the ANC, but also that the ANC is an organization that does not regard itself just as belonging to its own members, how we reach out to communities in each of the wards through community meetings is going to be quite a hectic uh, work that will be taking place. We've made sure that structures are in place uh, or where they are not in the next few days, uh, we're going to uh, work hard to get the structures to be in place. The metros uh, will be getting specific uh, attention. Uh, Nelson Mandela Metro, uh, we want to uh, intensify our efforts there and uh, consolidate our strategy to make sure that we retain that metro. Uh, the PC deliberated extensively on that, as well as uh, the Buffalo City Metro. Because we are a democratic organization, we don't pronounce guilt on a member before we've subjected that member to a process. Where we say, refer these matters for disciplinary action, there is to be set a disciplinary inquiry for which each member is to be invited to present himself so as to get as to the gripe the ANC has and the charge it seeks to be preferred to that person. And that's a process that is driven from the disciplinary committee. So the disciplinary committee has been directed to be seized uh, with attending to these men. Not everybody. There are key figures, so-called uh, uh, ring leaders, uh, identifiable, uh, we would like really to have them uh, answer to their actions. One of the important elements uh, strengthened by uh, the National General Council was uh, uh, strengthening the Integrity Commission. Uh, we have also uh, presented to the PEC and it was adopted uh, the uh, Integrity Commission uh, of the province, uh, which uh, already uh, has uh, uh, in a spirited way, began uh, its work in earnest. It, uh, the modus operandi was explained. It will further be explained uh, to all the members of the organization because uh, it's going to be at the center of the work we do, bringing back uh, those values, the integrity uh, within uh, the, 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 the ANC uh, as, as a family. The ANC is looked upon by everybody, so it has to be that uh, members of the ANC uh, uh, show that character of responsibility that should be uh, amenable or acceptable to uh, the people of our uh, province and country generally. We have also acknowledged that we've got an important uh, event taking place next year at the University of Forte Centenary. Uh, the University of Forte is intricately linked uh, to uh, the the, really the struggle for uh, emancipation, the struggle for emancipation of the people of this country, the University of Forte has been an integral part of that. Uh, you'd recall the ANC finished its centenary a few years ago uh, and Forte is now uh, also going to be finishing its uh, centenary. So we have uh, concluded that we shall be part of uh, the celebration of that centenary. There are events that we shall form part of. You know that the University of Forte houses the archives of the ANC. 
Uh, so the ANC and there is almost a very strong relationship uh, with the University of Forte that the ANC has. So that is our centenary too. That's the sentiment that the PEC has expressed. So yes, as you can see, we're very much excited. We are looking ahead uh, to the work in the coming uh, period. Uh, we have already begun with the program of mobilization uh, that has seen us in a number of our regions, Alfred Nzo, uh, Amatole over the weekend. Uh, during this week, we are going to be uh, in Krizani region uh, consolidating uh, the foothold of the ANC in this. And we're seeing a lot of people who at one time had left the ANC, who in droves are coming back uh, because of the belief that it's only the ANC that's capable of responding uh, to the needs uh, of the people out there. We have had uh, an extensive discussion as well in respect of some of the challenges that have shown themselves uh, uh, at Fees Must Fall campaign as an example, and uh, really uh, took on to say we must uh, uh, strengthen uh, our policy discussions as we are going towards the policy conference, uh, which is the next important uh, platform of the ANC. Uh, to that effect, we think that we want to contribute significantly in looking at the policy environment of the ANC in the midst of the global challenges in terms of the economy, that uh, we should be able to look at further uh, consolidation, further strategies that will help us uh, to make sure that uh, we can have an economy that produces jobs uh, for our people, particularly young people, that we should be able to have. Uh, indeed, uh, this uh, free education, it's something that we think that uh, every effort must be made uh, to make us uh, get closer to that uh, vision uh, faster than uh, otherwise it is taking place. It is something for which uh, we will be contributing uh, towards the discussions within the ANC uh, towards that end. Thank you.